Hi guys, Sam from Pharmacy Mentor here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the product Farm Data to help your pharmacy business achieve better results. Farm Data is a platform that uses the data for community pharmacy provided by the NHS Business Services Authority and produces statistics for five key performance indicators, which are prescription items, prescription forms, medicine use reviews, new medicine service, and EPS uptake. Not only does it produce great visual statistics for your pharmacy, so you can track your performance over a period of time, you're able to track your performance against your competitors and view the GP prescribing statistics in your area. Analyzing data is a crucial part of any pharmacy business because it can help you understand where your strengths and weaknesses lie, thus helping you make better business decisions. The great thing about farm data as a comparative tool is that it highlights the threats and opportunities for your business, which can help you adjust your overall strategy. Let me give you an insight into how it works. This is the farm data landing page, and as you can see, they've just been nominated for a C&D award this year. I think it's fully deserved and I wish them the best of luck. On the landing page alone, you can see top level statistics for companies around England and Wales, which is interesting anyway. But if you type in the name or postcode of your pharmacy in the search bar here and press enter, you'll be able to see some basic statistics about your business straight away. You can see your KPIs in the sidebar here, and for each one, a graph is represented on the left, which shows the performance of your pharmacy over a period of time. On the graph, you can select whether you want to see an all-time view or a period of 18 months, and in the top right-hand corner here, you can break down the time period even further. Now, if you scroll down, you'll be able to see where your prescriptions are coming from, and the information around this has been hidden, meaning you need to sign up to view it. If you click on the link here, a pop-up will appear, fill out a few details, and then click to register. Okay, so now you signed up as a free trial member, which gives you access to a couple of more features, but again, the information around prescription source is still locked, and it's this together with these reports up here, which is where the real value of this software lies. To release this information, you have to pay a subscription fee of $2.99 per month, which is excellent value and significantly lower compared to the other data companies in the industry. Let me show you what the subscription will get you. When you're logged in, you're able to set your own pharmacy on the dashboard using this tab here, and on this page, you'll find a wealth of information you now have access to. In the prescription sources segment, you'll see the number of prescription items you've processed for each surgery you deal with, plus the market share, and if you click on analyze here, an awesome pie chart appears, which gives you an indication of your market share compared to every other pharmacy in the vicinity. And this tab here shows you how you're doing over time too, a great little feature. Scrolling down, you can see your pharmacy on a prescription items local leaderboard, which is cool. And below this, you can compare your pharmacies with others using a map. Now you'll notice that you can add pharmacies to a watch list using these buttons here. If you add a few of your competitors, scroll up to the first graph again, and from this drop down list, you can compare your pharmacy to the competitor you select for all of these KPIs. As an example, I've selected Sheffield Late Night Pharmacy from the list, and I can see that we are doing an average of nearly 3,000 more items a month. These guys aren't doing any MURs or NMS monthly, but I can also see that their prescription growth has increased significantly over the last 18 months, which could pose a threat for us in the future. An extremely useful tool and very interesting to see. Now, as well as adding pharmacies to your watch list, you can add surgeries to your My Surgeries list. It's important you do this for the farm data reports you can access in this tab up here, which I'll go through with you in a second. I'd select the surgeries that you deal with the most, and then from the drop down list on the farm data reports tab, select monthly report. In here, you'll find all sorts of information for your pharmacy compared to those on your watch list and information about the surgeries on your My Surgeries list, trending by month, all in one report. 
For example, if I scroll down to the market share analysis graph for Broom Hill surgery, I can see how my pharmacy has performed over time in comparison to both the pharmacies on my watch list. Again, very useful insights into performance and really nicely laid out. The next report is the AI report, which is a really nice bit of software that literally identifies possible strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats for your business. The first issue that's been raised for our business is that we've reduced in the number of average NMS we're completing and has been identified as a weakness of ours. The info generated in this automated SWOT analysis could go into a monthly newsletter for your business, for example, which can help direct focus and improve your outcomes. They also provide you with a market share report and a monthly newsletter to keep you informed regularly. Farm data is like the Google Analytics for your bricks and mortar business. Understanding the data and trends for your pharmacy, your competitors and the surgeries around you will inevitably help you make better business decisions and at $2.99 per month you really can't go wrong. A prime example of innovation in community pharmacy and is something that I believe to be a mandatory tool for your dispensing business.